At long last, we are saved! Welcome, hero. We've been waiting for you. Now, I'm sure you have all kinds of questions about the obstacles you'll need to overcome on the way to achieving your destiny. Nope, not really. Pardon? Yeah, no, I don't really have any questions about my fate or whatever. Uh, I'm just good. We can, we can get on with it. Oh, of course, of course. Here, let me catch you up on the tragic odyssey of events that led to the war-torn state of our world today. Hey, so maybe you just have like a, a key points pamphlet? Because, so, so the thing is, I'm tying myself against a world record on this route, just trying to shave off a few seconds of my personal best here and there to see what I can do, you know? And that just means that I don't quite have the time to commit to like a whole history class of exposition right now. You can't condense 12 eons of multiversal arcano politics into three bullet points in a bumper sticker. Okay, then can I just skip it? Like, is there just a skip button? What a crazy rude thing to say! Imagine me coming into your place of work. Oh, there it is. You to skip, skip your. Awesome. Back on track. All right. So the first thing I need out of this sequence is I think sixteen uh, dollar jewel things. Florins. Yeah, florins. Sure. Uh, whatever. I just need exactly and specifically sixteen of them. All you need to do is take this sword in order to defeat the bad dark. Got it? Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not too worried about that. Later on, we are going to glitch by a butterfly net into being both an offhand glaive and a stat boosting earring at the same time. Let me tell you, that thing is a monster. Yeah, we are gonna be totally fine. How much do you put in each one? I don't know, just however many I feel like at the moment. Well, I mean, okay, so that's functionally random. I mean, that, that's fine. It just means we're gonna have to scrub this run and I'm just gonna cycle it back. Long last, we are saved. Welcome, hero. Skip. Is that how it works? You accelerate through an infinite purgatorial loop of furniture vandalism and petty theft until you get what you <laughs> At long last. Skip. Until I get 16 forms exactly. Yep, that's right. Rough. Skip. So what's supposed to happen after that? Let's say we were in a just and caring universe instead of this one, and you just so happened to get 16 florins. Then would you take the sword? Man, you were like really all in on this sword. I mean, it's a really cool sword. It automatically rebalances in your grip, it's divinely consecrated against the touch of sin, and it's dishwasher safe. To answer your question, apparently somebody thought it was incredibly important for the game to account for each and every individual florin's weight out to the fourth decimal place. And I'm going to leverage that gobsmackingly unnecessary amount of specific data to perform periodic micro adjustments to keep me on target as I perform this next incredibly risky and very delicate maneuver. You ready? Uh... You see, directly behind me, there's a spot on the wall where the geometry just doesn't quite mesh. And if you can hit it, Right there in that 1.12 pixel band with an angle of attack that is inclusive to an imaginary cone that emanates out from the wall at 1.8 degrees, you get automatically swept into a non-rendered void space. It's super cool. Oh, and this void space that you've been drifting towards for hours, that's the positive outcome? Yep, it immediately triggers the credit roll. That's a win, baby. And for all the precautions you're taking, I must assume that if your angle is off, the consequences are spontaneous ram explosion, critical system failure. No, you just stop moving. Well, and you have to start all over again. Oh, come on! At long last, we are saved! Welcome, hero. We've been waiting for you. Enough! Stop! No more pots! But I need the pots. To do what? Have fun? Obviously not! To succeed? Ha! Also not in your wheelhouse! All right, you know, you may be right. I may not be all that great at winning, but at the very least, you have to give me this. I am very talented at trying. But the things you're trying aren't trying to do anything. It's like you're specifically avoiding any part of the game that might have a point. Everything you're doing is quite literally pointless. Oh, wait, are you still upset? Because I didn't take- Why couldn't you just take the stupid sword? Yeah, okay, yep, all right, yeah, I, I see, okay. I was given one singular job. I was asked to do one simple thing, forever. Give the guy the sword. How am I getting pushback on that? Look, I just don't need the sword, okay? It doesn't do anything for me. Very incorrect. This sword was designed specifically pixel by pixel, atom by atom, for removing obstacles and solving 
problems. And you have so many problems. In fact, you are a problem. My problem. Wow, okay, skip. Huh, did that always work? Do we even need human players? Did we ever? Huh. So, uh, a little glitch there with the cart gaining sentience at the end. I've heard Japanese carts could do that, but I've, I've never seen it personally. Didn't play around that one, but not to worry gamers, this run is dead, but I brought a backup cart. That's right, the marathon continues. We would like to give a huge shout out to our patron, Robert, who suggested that we make this video. That's right, this video right here. Do you also want to suggest videos that we will then make into cool videos? Well, you can. Be a member of our Patreon. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash doormonster. That's our Patreon. And you can look at all the different tiers we have and all the different rewards we are offering. Premiering in September, we are starting a whole new kind of patron content called uh, Ask Us Stuff. That's the official name now, you gotta keep that. In which, get this, each month you will get to ask us stuff, specifically one of us at a time. So I will be answering all of your questions that you can send on the uh, Patreon Ask Us Stuff channel on our Discord. Ask your questions there, I'll answer them. And if you are a patron, you'll get to see those videos, and that's super cool. Oh wait, wait, I forgot! Are you wearing a shirt? You don't have to answer that, don't, that, that's, I, I am though. Look, I'm wearing a shirt. Do you like it? Do you want it? You can have this shirt. Not this shirt. You can have a shirt very much like this shirt from dftba.com. And you just search up Door Monster and we have a bunch of our civil religion shirts. And they are going to be a limited time release. So get in while you can and show off just how much you hate Griffins. Venice. I mean, yeah, it's Venice, but why does it look like... This is not the shape of Venice. 